Hello students, in present video, I am going to explain about sixth problem from depreciation lesson. I am taking this question from Telangana State Telugu Academy Inter Second Year Accountancy Textbook. But this video is useful to all common students who want to know about depreciation lesson. On depreciation topic, I made seven videos. I am providing the links in description box and in icons. I suggest you to watch those videos first. Then only you can understand this problem. Let us start the problem. Karthik and company bought a machine on 1st January 2017 for 1 lakh rupees. Fixed asset name is machine. They purchased it on 1st January 17 for 1 lakh rupees. Depreciation is provided at 15% under straight line method. Under straight line method, original cost method, fixed installment method, we have to provide depreciation at the rate of 15% per annum. Another machine was purchased on 1st October 2019 for 50,000. They bought additional asset on 1st October 19 for 50,000 rupees. Company closes its accounts every year at the end of the financial year. Means year starting date 1st April, year ending date 31st March. Prepare machine account for 4 years. For 4 years, he is asking us to prepare the account. Let us see the dates first. Firm purchased this 1 lakh worth asset on 1st January 2017. We should think this date falls in which year. If purchasing date is 1st January 17, then next March belongs to 17 year only, not 18 year. Last date of first year is 31st March 17. If this is the last date of first year, starting date of first year is 1st April 2016. So in first year, they purchased the asset on 1117. From 1st January 17 to 31st March 17. For how many months they use this 1 lakh worth asset in first year? January, February and March. Only 3 months they used. Now come to second year. Second year starting date is next date of this date. That is 1417. On that day we have 1 lakh worth of asset. So from that date to second year last date, 31st March 18, we used these 1 lakh worth of asset for one year period. Then come to next year, third year starting date is next immediate date of this date, that is 1 for 18. From that date to 31st March 19, for full year, we use the same asset. Then come to fourth year. In fourth year, on 1419, we have first asset with us. And in fourth year, on 1st October 19, firm purchased another machine also. So, at the end of fourth year, on 31st March 20, we have two machines. First machine, 1 lakh worth machine, we used from 1419 to 31st March 20. Full year we used. And the second machine, we used from 1st October 19 to 31st March 20. Means October, November, December, January, February, March. Six months we used second asset. With this information, let us prepare the asset account. They purchased this asset on 1st January 17. Debit side, in date column, write down that purchase date to bank. They purchased it for 1 lakh rupees. Now, first year, last date, 31st March 17. On that day, we have to provide the depreciation now. Credit side, write down that date. By depreciation account, cost of the asset is 1 lakh. On that, at the rate of 15% per annum, 
we should provide the depreciation. 15 by 100 into for how many months we used? January, February, March. Three months we used that asset. Therefore, 3 by 12. Provide depreciation only for three months. One numerator, one denominator we should cancel. Two fifteen to fifteen. Fifteen fives are seventy five. Fifteen to the thirty. Thirty seven. Three thousand seven fifty is the depreciation on first asset in first year for three months. Now find out the balance carried down. Debit total minus credit total. One lakh rupees minus. 3750 96250 write down on credit side put the total bring this balance carried down to next year date is next immediate date of this date 1 4 2017 you may get one doubt in first year we wrote 2017 in second year also we wrote 2017 even though we are writing 2017 here, this date falls in first year. First year is 2016 and 17. As they purchased on 1-1-2017, we are writing 2017 here. And here 2017, this date belongs to second year. Balance carried down amount 96,000. 250. In second year, they use this asset from 1 4 17 to 31st March 18. Full year they used. So again, we should provide depreciation on the machine. When? At the end of second year. This is straight line method now. The feature of this method is every year we provide depreciation on original cost of the asset. Original cost is 1 lakh, on that 15% and don't write the months because we use this asset for full year. Second year depreciation is 15,000. Find out the balance carried up. Debit total 96,250. Minus credit total 15,000 is equal to 81,250. Put the total. Come to third year. Next date of this date. 1, 4, 18. To balance brought down 81,250. In third year also, they use this as machine. From 1st for April 2018 to 31st March 19. For full year they use this asset. So one year depreciation we should calculate. And we should provide depreciation under fixed installment method. The feature of this method is every year we should provide depreciation on original cost of the asset. We are in third year but original cost of the asset is 1 lakh. 1 lakh into 15%. We calculated that in second year. No, again you need not to show that computation here. Directly that 15,000 we can write in a one column. Balance carried down. Debit total 81,250 minus credit total 15,000. 66,250. Total is 81,250. Bring this balance to next year. Next year date is 1st April 2019. Next immediate date of this date. Balance brought down amount is 66,250. Now, this is 4th year now. In 4th year, they purchased another mission on 1st October 19. When they purchase any asset, debit side we should write to bank 
they purchased it for 50,000 on 1st October 2019. Total is 1,16,250. Now, fourth year last date. On this date, we have two machines. First machine cost is 1 lakh and we used it for full year. Full year depreciation already we calculated in previous years. Write down that amount. 15,000 is the depreciation on first asset for full year. Second asset we purchased in fourth year. Cost of the asset is 50,000. On that, at the rate of 15% per annum, we should provide depreciation. And asset is purchased on 1st October 19. How many months we use that asset in 4th year? October, we used it. November, December, January, February, March. 6 months we use that asset. So calculate the depreciation for 6 months. 6 by 12. One numerator, one denominator we should cancel. 215 to 15. We calculated here now 3750. First asset depreciation 15,000. Second asset depreciation 3750. If you add both, then total depreciation on two assets is then find out that balance carried down. Debit total 1,16,250. Minus credit total 18,750, 97,500. Write down on credit side. Then put the total 1,16,250. For four years, he asked 1, 2, 3, 4. In fourth year, last day, as there is balance carried down. As account is not at closed, bring the balance to next year and leave the problem. Next year date is 1420. Next immediate date of this date, two balance brought down. Write down this amount 97,500. So, this is all about sixth problem from depreciation lesson. Hope this video is useful to you. Thank you.